everyone, I'm back and I have some more reviews. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if you want to call me a big sucker or a big fan of infomercials and weird kind of Japanese, Chinese, just beauty products. Which there's kind of a trend among Japanese girls where they're kind of trying to Americanize their faces with like the eye glue trying to get rid of the mono lid and then there's the nose job machine things which I found out through Tumblr and I thought it was absolutely fascinating. So they aren't really expensive. I got two of them for three dollars on Amazon so they're super cheap and since I love novelty items I thought I would get them. The first one is the Giahi. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> the packaging says in order to make your little nose clearer, more beautiful, and full of happiness, this product is necessary for your nose. <sighs> like every single one of these packages should be like on English because this is just, oh, it's good stuff. I love it though. I really do. Like making fun of it comes from a good place. I swear. <laughs> so here is the little contraption. This is supposed to be like the super cheap nose job. I've seen all kinds of different ones of these. These are the cheapest ones because I just wanted them kind of for the novelty and they're pretty cool anyway. But I have a fairly wide nose. I think I have a big nose. People say I don't but whatever. I don't care. Um endearing towards my big nose <laughs> this basically works like this Ta -da! so now you get to hear what I sound like when my nose is topped up but basically it has these little weights on the side it's like a little alligator clip and it kind of conforms the cartilage to what you want it to be because this is making your nose smaller I gotta take that off <laughs> It hurts a little bit, which it might be from my allergies and my nose is kind of dry, but it feels like it works because it hurts a little bit, but um, this is the Giahi, which is the little clip one. I'll let you guys look at the back. I don't know if you can read it. You might want to pause it and then read it if you want, but it has really bad translations. It says, when and where did you use Giahi? It's got two little girls sitting here talking. The one girl has it on her nose with her head out the window of her car. I will talk. It's not the first time for me to drive. Two exclamation points. Dot, dot, dot. Two when driving. Does that make any sense? Is, there, is that just me? Okay, the next one is the same girl with this on her nose. She's watching TV. And then a thought bubble says, the same as you. Then dot dot dot, two when watching TV at home. That one's a little more self-explanatory. I think the first one was when you're waiting in traffic. Next one's when you're watching TV at home. And the next one, she's asleep and she has it on her nose. It just says, er, er. This is two when taking a nap after lunch or go to sleep at night. So I guess you can wear it when you sleep. I couldn't sleep with this thing on though because I couldn't breathe and I would end up snoring really loudly and that would be terrible. But this is the little package that it comes in. Just a little plastic bubble thing. It's super fun and I actually have another one of course. These were both like three dollars. This one's called Nose Up. It says it's made in China so I'm going to assume that the text on here is Chinese. It's all as you can tell. So I really don't have much at all to go off of. Except it says nose up and it shows you how to wear it. This one hurts like really bad. But you can see how it's made. This part goes along the bridge of your nose and these go on the side. It's supposed, supposed, <laughs> it's supposed to turn your nose up because I guess Asian people people of Asian heritage I guess from the packaging have a flatter nose and don't have like the little slopey thing so this is supposed to make you have the little slopey thing and this one really hurts 
Like I said, it might just be my allergies for my nose is so dry. But this one looks like it actually goes into detail about how it, how it works and that sort of thing. Because it has a little drawing of the cartilage and stuff like that. But it's all in Chinese and I can't read it. I think these are super fun and it's kind of like a, like a face mask that you get to peel off all at once. It's kind of like the novelty of it and I think it's super awesome and it seems to work a little bit. I mean, I don't know if it would work long term or anything, but I guess I can do a follow up review and let you know. The next one, uh, it's right up there with like the shake weight. It's... <laughs> It's called the Neck Genie Elite. I got this because my mom is now in her 50s and she's getting self-conscious that she thinks she has a little gobbly thing, well, whatever. <sighs> so I got this because I think it's, it's, it's fun. Okay, here's the box. Is a Neck Genie Elite, the world's first resistant toning system for your neckline. This looks like a really bad as seen for TV box. This is before and after. No, I don't know if it works. I doubt if it does work. This also wasn't expensive. This was maybe five bucks. There are like really expensive versions of these, which who knows, they might actually work, you know, but as my boyfriend says, it's all snake oil. So <laughs> it might not work. But I'm going to demonstrate how to use this. I got these all off of Amazon from just different sellers. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like some weird little plumbing piece. <sighs> Sorry, it's, it's just adorable. It cracks me up. This part, the bottom part, you put up against your sternum. Then you set right under your chin on this. And what it says to do to tone up this is all you do 10 times, then three reps. I don't know how that's supposed to help at all. But on the inside of the top, you can take these little thingies off. There's a little dial. One way makes it less resistant, one way makes it more resistant. I have it turned up. As far as I can tell, all the way resistance, and it's, you know, not hard at all. But you have to find a little sternum bone there and hold it and do this. And it says if you want your jawline and stuff, you use it like this. I don't know how it's really supposed to work, 